for the assignment. Oh, so okay. it's it state that each member need to evaluate two design per each per each type of transmitting device, right? So no la, I actually suggest that you uh, each member work on one device to do la. So uh each type so each type of transmitting device we need to have two design, right? So in yeah. total of four design. Yeah. Is it? Okay, yeah, correct. Thank you. Thank but you one person. member work on one device, la. Ah, I understand. Because ah. it's eight originally two device per person. Two design, right? Uh, uh yeah, two design. Two design, huh? Ah, okay, okay. Two, two design for one device. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay, thank you, Miss. All right. Okay, uh, Miss, also, uh, uh -huh. the due date is date on week 12, Sunday, right? So it's on 4th of April or 11th of April. Uh, let me see, huh? Because somehow Sunday is the start of a week sunday 23 59 right huh? sunday 23 59 so that is a uh, week 12. it's on um, 11 or 4th wait, wait. oh no 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 now it's what week now is um now it's week 10 correct week 10 week 11 week 12. 11 11 okay 11 then. april yes okay, thank you. okay i should put the i should put down the date easier to understand no it's week 11 right week 10. i'm lost count eh? already <laughs> no it's week 11. okay so that's week 12. Uh, correct lah correct lah on the uh, 11 or april Uh, we're supposed to do lab now huh? okay so we are going to do the last experiment which is experiment three so for experiment three you need to learn how to plot the bell curve which is the bit error rate curve Okay, so for this experiment, please use what uh, the models that you have created uh, in experiment two, yeah. So don't spend time, don't waste time uh, constructing new model. All right, and all you need to do, okay, let me explain a little bit. Okay, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort. Okay, so for experiment three, we are going to perform a Monte Carlo simulation and a bell curve plot for ASK, PSK, and FSK system model. Yeah. So our objective uh, is to investigate the effect of uh, this uh, additive white Gaussian noise channel uh, in the in our communication system. All right. So what is the effect of this uh, white Gaussian noise in uh, for ASK? for PSK as well as uh, FSK. And then um, we're going to use BER2. We're going to use BER2 to actually perform a Monte Carlo simulation and then plot a BER curve. All right, so BER curve will actually give us a more uh, complete uh, analysis on the effect of uh, additive white Gaussian noise on our signal. Yeah. So for the first one, which is the ASK system modeling, I want you to actually use back the ASK model that we have constructed previously, right? But you add this AWGN channel in the middle. Yeah. So meaning after you have modulated the signal, you transmit it through a channel. In the past, we just draw a straight line here from transmitter to receiver, right? From your modulator to demodulator. But now we actually pass it through a real channel. Yeah. So a real channel, we're going to use the uh, AWGN channel to represent. So put that in between. Uh, again, um, the rest is the same. Uh. So don't, don't spend time building the whole uh, model again. Yeah? You don't have time for it. 
So uh, you need to start, uh, let's say this, make sure your parameter setting are correct. And uh, for EB over N naught, we're going to start with the value 30. All right, with the value 30. And then you should see uh, your on your waveform, how your signal look like. Okay, basically your receive signal will be the same as your um, input signal. The transmit signal and the receive signal will be the same. Why still got somebody want to join this time? You have joined just now. Ma. All right, so whatever you transmit should be the same as you receive. All right, then you change the, the next thing you do, you change the A, EB over N0 to 10. All right, now you have a smaller EB over N0. Uh, that means your signal power is lower now. And you should compare your, if you compare your waveform, your transmit signal and your receive signal look very different. All right, so that means there are a lot of errors now in the detection. Okay, so do that now. Uh, maybe 10 minutes, uh, half an hour will do. Don't spend too much time here because you should be able to get this quickly. And you need to spend more time on the next, uh, the next uh, experiment. Huh. Yong Chi Ye, you missed my lecture just now. Ah. Huh, Yong Chi Ye, you missed my lecture just now. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, sorry, I missed the class just now. <laughs> you better check with your friend what I discussed just now, yeah? Uh, miss. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Sure. Uh, uh, some, I think not related one to your question. Uh. Uh, it's not related. <laughs> is this uh, a good time to ask for non-related question? Uh? <laughs> no, la, it's, in, it's uh, just, I just want to ask about the baseband signal. Mm -hmm. You say the baseband signal is without the career Without carrier yeah, signal, okay. yes. Does that mean um it so so the so the baseband signal is transmitted wirelessly or wired or by wired wired baseband baseband wire. definitely wired yes. Oh, so yeah. So basically, uh, if you want to transmit an analog signal, you need to sample it, then quantize it, then encode it, and then do the line code and then line shape then this is the baseband signal lah. no 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 baseband signal there are two types if you're talking about analog signal uh, then the the baseband signal is the signal as it is lah, like a real life signal your speech you know a music or video signal as oh. it is that is the baseband signal so it can be analog but if you want to digitize the analog signal uh, then uh, still after PCM is still your baseband, you know. Oh, your binary so without signal. without modulation. Uh. Yeah, without the carrier, you know, oh. without the, the the carrier as well. Digital modulation is concerned. It's actually a way uh, we are using a carrier, which is a analog signal, to carry digital information. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Then. Also, uh, what is the difference between bulk and symbol? What is the difference between bulk and sample? Bulk rate and sample rate? Uh? Not, not sample rate. Symbol, symbol. Symbol, symbol. and bulk. Because it seems they are like the same, also, they, are the same, same. they are the same. Oh, yeah, same thing. Same thing. I, I'm curious about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like they are represented by the number of bits. Yeah, they just call it differently, that's all. Oh. But it's the same thing, yes. And also, uh, uh -huh. just now the tutorial question too, uh, actually you are correct one, original, the, you, you are correct, you don't need to swap the position of 
Uh-huh. Uh, the, the y-axis. Uh-huh. Because I I searched from the internet lah, from one mm-hmm. Indian guy lah. Mm-hmm. And we actually teach teach how to plot the constellation diagram. The y-axis lah is mm-hmm. he, the, the Indian guy labeled the, the positive side as negative sign and the negative y-axis as positive sign. I don't want to do that because if I do that, that will conflict again with my lecture notes. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're just, no, no. You just need to change the label of the y axis. Uh, the ballet, lah, you need to, you just I, need to. I, I know, if I ballet that one, ah, then some students are going to confuse already. If you refer to my uh, the QPSK lecture notes, ah. Okay. Uh-huh. I actually uh I actually label the positive y axis as sign, the negative y axis as minus sign. Positive yeah. y axis. Yeah, I know. You yeah, just... I want to keep that consistent. Oh. Uh, I want to but, keep but that I, consistent. I search from internet actually is the ballet lah. Ah uh, yeah la. That that is another way lah. So if you label it the ballet, then you are correct also lah. But uh. if you the ballet the tutorial question zero one and one one lah, just now the question. Uh-huh. 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 It's not. It's seems like it's wrong lah because the the positive phase shift must should be actually counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, what you you turn it, then it become clockwise, and looks like wrong. <laughs> positive, positive. Phase you 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 double the zero one and one one right. Uh huh. Then actually zero one is positive. 90 degree what the phase shift oh, yeah. and yeah. then you you plot it at the negative y axis then salah lo. salah again <laughs> no la. no the, um, cor- the correct one confirm is the ballet the label negative sign and sign so the q should be negative sign la, you're saying yeah 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 the q represent negative sign la. ah then the bottom part bottom Part of the y axis represents sign. Then this one is correct because cos theta you a cos signal you phase shift for by positive ninety degree is actually mm. a negative sign. Yeah, correct. Then the Q is negative sign. <laughs> uh, that is because if you consider the plus, uh, plus phase shift as uh counterclockwise ah. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Common sense, but cows, uh, counterclockwise must be positive phase shift, but common sense, this is the mess one. Counterclockwise. Means positive phase shift. Not math. <laughs> I learned so many math subjects, counterclockwise must be positive degree one. Counterclockwise is positive. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, from math's point of view, yes. <coughs> Yes, counterclockwise is positive. So I think the best solution is you uh the ballet the label, the Q is negative sign from the lecture note lah. And then the tutorial one you actually correct lah at first. You don't need to the ballet lo, the the A and negative A for the zero one and one one. You you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, last, I know. Because I know. last time I'm so confused until I don't know how to express it. Uh-huh, I know. Now now I I I got I got know already. <laughs> <laughs> uh then why I, I this is because if I want to change this, that means I need to be consistent throughout. So that means I need to change a lot of things. At the time I think I don't want to change, just keep it as it is. Okay lah, okay lah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your thank you for your feedback. <laughs> but final exam got such question. <laughs> if if got, <laughs> I don't know how to do. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> later, don't later, worry. I do my my do like what I say just now. Then Salah, then I wow, <laughs> very sad. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> and also, uh, last question. I I I have a lot of question one. Hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, for is regarding the assignment. Uh, because the assignment, the question stated that we need to use what the the for the the receiving device need to what 
comply comply with the what standard was mm. the WRAN eight zero two point one one standard mm. for to transmit within what fifty meter vicinity. Mm. Actually, what does that mean? Ah, uh? we need to find we need to we need to find to the standard. standard. Yes. Yeah, but I I I search for a lot of standard. It just stated what. Ban the standard use like five gigahertz or two point four gigahertz. It doesn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you actually search further, there will be. They actually tell you as far as eight o two point one one is concerned. Do you have version A, B, all the way yeah, yeah, to yeah, whatever? So yeah. different different version actually will give you different bandwidth requirement, and also uh, your bit rate. And also uh, the, range. Um, the range, and as well as the modulation techniques you can use. Wow, well, very, very, uh, yeah, very complex one. Yeah. The, the range got correct. indoor and outdoor one. Correct, correct. Different one. So correct. we need to focus on the indoor or outdoor. Uh, so this one, as far as assignment question is concerned, is open ended. So okay, if you yeah. want to consider indoor, then you consider indoor. So in your assignment report, you need to say this is for indoor. Oh. All right. And then if you want to talk about outdoor, then you you design based on outdoor. So the standard will state what modulation scheme used for this range. Mm. And the, the modulation of... scheme you choose must must meet uh, one must be one of the modulation schemes suggested in the standard. Or not, not to, not to find the career frequency. Uh. I I thought the. Oh uh, no, not to find the career frequency. No. I thought we need to use the career frequency suggested by the uh, uh, standards. No, no, no. Because I only can search five gigahertz and two point four gigahertz. Yeah, there are only there are only two frequencies. But this is the this is not the career frequency or the I search no. say this is the this is the band. But actually, yeah, there, there are a lot of career frequency yeah, in this. Correct. Case. Inside that band. So we need to yes. use the career frequency. Yeah. So that's why I actually give you the bandwidth. If uh, you cannot exceed 80 kilohertz. Yeah, this is the signal. Yeah. Uh, the, the F. Your F modulated signal. The, I, I, the, the bandwidth doesn't, doesn't relate to the fre career frequency. Right? No. Yeah, I know. Because you can see what, when you use when you use the... Uh, MPSK block or MFSK block, uh -huh. um, you don't state the frequency, what? Yeah, I don't know. You don't say the frequency. You just say uh, what uh, what uh, call it what M level you want. A level, the, the what M level or M level? What M level you want? Oh, oh I cannot mm. find uh, the standard. <laughs> what, ma? The standard actually tell you what under this standard or what kind and of any 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 source uh, <laughs> because uh, I cannot find. You can you can search. I can find. You can find. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, what what you Google? <laughs> can you can you can you pri private message me? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot already where I Google, but I have the I have the standard to me. <laughs> so you I need know. to Google a bit, uh. I will provide, Just assignment provide, provide, you to do provide. some research work, ma. <laughs> I, I I search for many days already. Cannot. Hmm. Maybe too complex. I don't understand the standard. No, basically, uh, I, I think there is someone who actually come up with a table already. You just refer to the table. But seems like the source is not official one. Trusted one, uh, official one. Uh. Can, uh, can The official, trust, uh. the official one, very very messy. Uh. Yeah, I don't understand so, one. Somebody actually summarize it. Can trust that uh, any link. I would say I think not too far lah. You can oh. actually summarize it from uh, the original uh, standards. Oh. The original so, standard very lengthy, uh, not easy to understand. So the career frequency we need to follow the standard lah. No, you as far as your assignment is concerned, uh, your your career frequency you just need to talk about it in your report. That's all. But as far as your model is concerned, you cannot say this, you cannot specify your carry frequency. What? Can I? Why cannot? No, you can't. Just add a. Uh... Unless you are using ASK. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I look back to the... <laughs> Unless you are using ASK, if you look at your uh, simulink, in your yeah. simulink, you can't really specify your carrier frequency one. 
unless you are using AMFM, you know, you, you construct your own model from scratch, then you can. Oh, but yeah, if you are using, yeah, yeah, if you are yeah, using, yeah. I, I suggest you use the block, don't construct your own. You're going to spend a lot of so time use if the, you want to construct your own. Use the generator yeah. and also the modular yeah, yeah. panel. Yeah, just use you make use of the hey, block that I, is given. So so <laughs> Yeah, so in your discussion you just say uh you know uh, you can transmit within these two frequency or what? So you actually want us to do PSK and FSK only la. <laughs> Yeah la. and again out of these two there's only one. If you refer to the no, there are only two. Actually there are two. If you refer yeah, to I I triple eight oh two standards, huh? Uh, Kayla, you see that it's only M P S K and M Q A M. These two. So the the A M F M definitely this one. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also la. Yeah, ah, yeah, also yeah. So you just so need to you... design one M S one F S K and one P S K la. <laughs> uh, very good tips. F S K got me <laughs> in your standard. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> So, so, so if you read the standard, la, they will narrow down your scope a lot already. You don't think so much already. <laughs> yeah, I don't. So, the only thing I don't understand is just the standard. Ah, I, I, I think I can understand a bit. La. Yeah, yeah, la. So, so you, you just... you, if you give the link, la, I think, I, think can, I can finish already. <laughs> uh... Okay, la, I try to find the. Uh... Okay, la. Thing, if la. you actually if you read up on the uh, IEEE 2.11, there are only two types of modulation scheme <laughs> inside that standard. PSK, <laughs> PSK. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Wow, a lot of info here uh, today. Mm, yes. The more you ask, the more info you get, lah. If you don't ask, don't 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 deduct my mark. Uh, don't remember my name. Uh. Later you deduct uh, my mark. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Okay la, okay, la. Uh, okay. I, 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 I go yeah, first. Yeah, you better la. do your this thing. You, oh, you're not this left one? Ah? No, no, no. I oh, purposely okay, okay. stay and ask one. Uh, you I, 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 you I, I don't know you have a class. Time, I don't know oh. you have a class. I actually want to ask you personally. Oh, okay, okay. Because too many questions I, I have. Uh, okay. You can uh, look for me another time. Uh, uh Currently, I don't have any question la, okay. currently. All maybe right. maybe next time I will. <laughs> uh okay la. Bye bye then. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so uh wow, that's a long interruption. Have you finished your ASK? Yes, please. Okay, did you get the same result as I show you on your lab manual? Yeah. Okay, good. Then let's move on to PSK, yeah? Uh, what part did I ask you to do next? Let's see. Yeah. No, uh, for after that, uh, did we? No, we, for B. No, not PSK. We are still ASK. Okay, say so ASK do part B where we actually actually bring in the uh, error calculation block, error rate calculation block and the display block. We still have ASK, we still have ASK, all right? Uh, because uh, if you actually compare, okay, let me, let me brief you again. Um, okay, where's my, where's my all right? So, if you if you actually compare your last result, look at your last result, the transmitted bit data and the received bit data are very different, all right? So, we know there are a lot of errors, okay? But uh, in order to calculate the number of errors, you are, you won't, I don't think you're able to calculate one by one, right? Especially when your bit rate is high. So we're going to make use of a block in simulating called the um, error rate calculation. Okay, use this block and then compare. So we're going to compare, uh, we're going to use this block to actually calculate the error for us. All right, 
So you can either use this uh, the go to block or you straight away link it to your error rate calculation block. Okay, or straight away draw a link here. Okay, connect it here. Then uh, this error rate calculation block is going to compare the bits that you transmit with the bits that you receive or the receiver decode and uh, show you the error on a display. So pull out also a display block and then connect it to your error rate calculation block output port. And uh, this table, this display will actually show you. All right. So the last one, last number here is the number of bits that it compare. And this one is how many errors it detects. And this will give you your bit error rate. Okay, uh, uh, do it now quickly. And please make sure you um, set your change or uh, set your parameter according to what I've suggested in your lab manual. Yeah? Uh, miss mm -hmm. uh, mailing our my classmate mm -hmm. have an emergency thing have to leave now okay ask her to join on uh, friday okay
um, is yeah. for the 3.1c uh I, I can't find the the signal to workspace block signal to workspace block wow. oh, yes I find I find the I can find the to workspace block ah, but to then work the, space, oh? but then the my uh my result my result different with the let me know yeah let me touch my that one i think should be able to uh, work space. to workspace or do uh, uh yes i use to workspace but then my result uh different with the let me know the ber figures Oh, the BR figure. Ah, uh, how different are uh, is yours from the let me know. Uh, uh, where I present present it. Mm. Um, it may not uh, because when you hit hundred error, it stop already. Right? I can get only seven point. I think. Uh, one, two, three, four. Eight point, but then the let me know is is a uh, different with mine. Uh, your point not so nice also, ah. Huh? Not really a good curve, huh? Oh, that is because of your runtime. I think you might have to increase your runtime. Um, if you see, ah, uh, now your. Are your points at about the same place as the point in the lab manual? Let's say the one at 15 dB, is it the same? Fifteen dB is supposed to be around 10 to the power of uh, minus one. So it's a 15 dB. 10 to the power of uh, let's say wait, 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 wait. Oh, your error quite high, huh? 15 dB about there. I think your error rate is quite high, isn't it, as compared to mine? Yeah, your error rate is higher. So, when your error rate is higher, um, then you should check um, symbol period you set correctly. Okay. And it's your receive delay one for your error calculation block. Uh, my error calculation uh is uh here. No display but... error cal error calculation block. Receive delay is one, right? Yes. Oh, okay. One e six. Mm. One e six, and then your A W G N channel. A W G. Mm. Symbol rate zero point one. Ah. Uh. Ah uh, yes. Is but only generator your data rate is zero point one. Also right, your sample time. Mm. Yeah. See you for right. Yeah, okay. Then you're all right. Um why uh let me, if I look at your error rate calculation block, uh, you only have uh, about what 90 over sample, less than 100 samples to compare. So you might want to increase the runtime from 10 seconds to 100 seconds. Your runtime, runtime is the uh, on your update, update one, not here. Runtime okay, is no, 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 up, further up. No, no, it's not in your model diagram. It's outside. It's on the... No, no, it's not in your model diagram. Don't, don't click your model diagram. Nothing to do with model diagram. You go uh, to put it. <laughs> you look at window, the external window of your simulating block, the menu, eh, under the menu. 
the help block. Can you see the help? Uh, yes. Yeah, below the help to the right hand side, there's this number 10. That's your, that's your, no, no, this one. On your simulink, go back to your simulink. Simulink? Ah, yeah, here. Help. Where's your help? Ah, there, go uh, down. There's a 10 one. there. Ah. Oh, yeah. So instead of 10 seconds, run it for 100 seconds to get more samples to compare. That's one thing you can do. Because now you only got uh, about, about 100 samples for you to test. Uh, now it's seven seven hundred forty. Seven hundred and forty only, huh? Seven hundred and forty also you won't be able to get a lot. So you might have to increase down to up to one thousand second. Uh seven seven is seven hundred forty. Mm, but your error rate is still very high. Something is wrong there in your signal. Um, what else? Uh? DB over N naught, you are plotting from 0 to 30, right? Okay. But you're not plotting until 20 something, isn't it? Let me see. Uh, you actually set AB and not. Your AWGN, can you click again? Yes. Mm, 1, 1, 0 0.1. Okay, correct. And then for your bird two, we are one hundred one e six. Okay, that is correct also. Can I see your bird plot again? This one. Your bird plot, the plot, the graph. Hmm. Your delay is one, right? A the delay. Early calculation block, the delay is one, no? No, the error rate calculation block. Receive delay is one. Receive delay is one. Uh, computation delay is zero. Uh, sub simulation. Okay, correct. Oh, then what else is wrong? Let's uh, your DSP. Are the DSP both carrier same? Uh? Your sign wave? Uh, one ten zero. Ah, uh, it's the same. Same time. Okay, why you have sample time? Okay, it should be correct. Huh? Yeah. 
Uh, what about the rest of you? Can you get the curve that is similar to the one in the lab manual? No miss. Nobody get it. I think it's no about, miss. your curve is about the same except that your error is a bit too high. Your error is a bit too high. Uh, um, I think I think let's drop this one first and straight away move on to your BPS, okay? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. Drop this one and move on to BPS, okay? First. I think that one is more important. I think the, the the model that worked in 2008 now behave differently in newer version of uh, NetLab. Okay, I also have some similar problems. So uh, let's construct a new one and see what happens. Uh, BPSK should be okay because I tested BPSK.
Okay, for BPSK, if you were to plot the theoretical curve first, uh, then you will get a good idea later on whether your model is performing according to the theoretical uh, value or not. All right, and if you look at the theoretical curve, the bit error rate is quite low. Yeah. Um, Therefore, you will have to either increase your bit rate or increase your runtime in order to get enough samples to clock on the curve. Okay, so um, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me share my screen first, just to make sure you are getting what you need to get. Okay, so for your BPSK model, right, in this case, uh, you can see I'm plotting, but it's going to take a long time because I'm going to run, actually my bit rate is rather high. Uh, because I need to get enough samples, right? If you look at the, the this is a theoretical plot, all right? So based on this theoretical plot, uh, you see that if I want to plot all the way to 20, actually it's quite big. So maybe you want to choose plot near until maybe 12 dB or 14 dB, all right? And then in order to plot until 12 or 14 dB, you see that your bit error rate is somewhere near uh, 10 to the power of minus 8. All right, error rate 10 to the power of minus 8 means one error in 10 to the power of mine 10 to the power of 8 bit. One error in 10 to the power of 8 bit. So meaning your runtime need to generate enough bits, you know, you need to generate 10 to the power of 8 bits. All right. So if you are using the sample time of 0 0.1 second, that means you need to run for 10 to the power of 7 seconds. So how long is 10 to the power of second? 10 million second. 10 million second is going to be hours and days. All right. So what you can do is increase your bit rate. Okay. So how to increase your bit rate by here, this one, your random integer generator block. All right. Increase your bit rate here. And uh, so let me, let me pause first.
Oops. Oh, I thought she won't let me open. Yeah, I have to stop my simulation. Okay, so for your random integer generator, instead of uh, 0.1, right, use uh, 1 over 1,000. 1 over 1,000 meaning uh, your sample time is uh, 0 0.0001. So that means you've got 1,000 sample per second, 1,000 bits per second. All right, 1,000 bits per second, and then I run for 10,000 seconds here. Okay. I run for 10,000 seconds, so that will give me 10 to the power of uh, 7 bits only. Now. I don't get to 10 to the power of 8. So I, I don't want to spend too much time on it. So again, I get 10 to the power of 7 bits. So 10 to the power of 7 bits, meaning I can plot until somewhere here. Yeah. So if you plot until somewhere here, and you see that the points that you plot, basically all the points lie on the theoretical curve, that means your BPSK modeling system is correct. All right. Can you get this one done first? Make sure your BPSK is correct. Then we move on to MPSK. All right. Can you do it now? So with the sample time of uh, your random integer generator, because I'm generating binary number only, so my set size is 2. I just want to generate 0 and 1, a series of 0 and 1. So 1,000 bit per second. Okay, 1,000 bit per second, and then I run for 1,000 second. Okay, no, that is 10 to the power of 6. Okay, so I can plot uh, about here only. Until here, later, you won't be able to plot anymore. All right, because I only get 10 to the power of 6 uh, bits. If you want to more accurate, then you increase your runtime or you either decrease your bit or increase your bit rate. Now. Yeah, but this is just for simulation purpose. And the next thing you need to change is your AWGN channel. Your AWGN channel need to follow, uh, need to follow your data rate. So my data rate, uh, binary data, 1 over 1,000. So my symbol is also 1 over 1,000. Okay, this is for BPSK. Uh. BPSK, meaning 1 pulse per bit. 1 pulse per bit. So that means my pulse rate is also the same as my bit rate. Okay, pulse rate is the same as my weight rate. So that is 1 over 1,000. Do that now, yeah, because I'm going to move on to M later on. M, there will be some modification and you need to learn how to modify or else you won't be able to do your assignment. Okay, so the change is here, AWGN channel 1000, 1 over 1000. Your integer generator 1 over 1000. Your runtime is 1000. Okay, and then for your this um bur two the bit analyte analysis two don't plot until twenty lah speed up a bit so that we can finish on time. Okay, plot until fourteen will do because based on the bur curve that we have, right? Even up to fourteen also is below here already. Or maybe we don't want to go until fourteen. Go until ten. Pure. Stop with the. Stop with the. 
All right. This one, 0 to 12. And how to get the theoretical curve? Hello. For those who don't know how to get the theoretical curve, you click that here. This is your theoretical curve. Channel A, the BGN, PSK2. All right. No channel coding, perfect synchronization. Yeah. And then you click plot. Then you get this blue line. Okay, so for Monte Carlo, uh, set your range 0 to 12. 0 to 12 meaning uh, starting from 0 dB all the way to 12 dB with a step of 2 dB in between. Yeah, and then your, you get you browse to get to where you save your model file. All right, and then your variable name is BER. The rest, no need to change. Huh? Okay, and then you click run, yeah? And that should plot this point correctly here. Okay, are you getting it? Ah? You don't get it better speak up, ah? otherwise uh, you have to do your assignment and you have problem with it. Because oh, yes. if you get it, your assignment, you shouldn't have problem with it. It's easy to, for you to do your assignment. Yeah. Means I cannot get... You cannot get, then you might want to share your screen. Okay. I get, I get, uh, I do three simulation, but I cannot get. Let me see, yeah. Huh? What, what, what do you mean? You do, okay. I already done three simulation, but. Your point is not plotted. Yeah. Okay, go to your. Uh, error rate calculation block. Shift delay, port delay. Hey, receive delay is supposed to be zero here in this case. DPSK is zero. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think they are to workspace. Your workspace, you call it ver, right? Yes. Okay. What about your AWGN? Okay, your AWGN block. I got changed as you mentioned just now. One okay. over one thousand. and not okay. One over one thousand. Okay, correct. Then your random integer generator also one over one thousand. Uh. Yes. Oh, okay. You see your uh, display is running, you see, no error found. Uh, I think it's continuing running from where, it's, where it was just now. Let's go to your bit error rate analysis tool. Open your bit error rate analysis tool. Um, it's not running, you need to click run here. Oh. Now it's running at 0 dB. Okay. 
Miss, may I need, uh, may I need to resave the file just now? Uh? Yeah, yeah, you need to save, or else it's going to take whatever it was just now. Hang on. Uh, okay, uh, stop, stop, stop. Um, look at your workspace, to workspace. Ah, limit data point to last one, not INF, last one. And uh, wait, 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 uh, the lock as well. What does uh, the, your workspace, open your workspace. Uh, do you need to lock fixed point data as object? Uh? What the menu say? I think you need to lock. Let me see my. Oh, yes, Nick. Yeah. Then, okay, right? Yeah. Mm. Save, huh? Save, uh, save already. Uh, what did they say? Save got error. What error? Mm. Too small, you need to read for me. I can and apply changes. Uh, you need Please to apply save or cancel those. You uh, haven't saved uh, your block. I think the workspace block you haven't saved. Um, uh, to workspace block. Yeah, you need to click apply. Okay, yeah. then save your model. Okay. okay, next one. Uh, miss, I got a question. Uh, what? Uh, my, 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 the point is not approaching to the theoretical one. Okay, share your screen. <laughs> okay. Let's look at your let's look at uh yeah your error rate calculation block delay error rate calculation block open delay is zero of oh, zero ah uh, delay is zero uh, and then the rest is remain remain unchanged wait wait, wait wait let me see you don't do too fast uh yeah the rest is correct yes yeah. Um, yeah, okay, there you go. Yep, correct now. Oh, okay, thank you, Miss. Yeah. All right, Hashi, you want to share your screen, Hashi? Uh, hi, yeah, you still got a problem? Yeah, I, I still can't connect to the workspace at the moment. Uh, let me see. Share your screen. Oh, yeah. Your vector must be same length. Um, uh, I don't know. So workspace, what is the name? B-E-R. Yeah, what do you call it? You don't call it B-E-R, right? Uh, 
Yeah, I call it PR. What is your workspace block different from our block space our block? Eh? Can you double click on the workspace block and see? This one. Hmm. P E R one one lock. Uh, okay, the workspace. Okay. And what area do you get? Uh, the vector uh, is not same as the lamp. But right, I, is it? All right, it's okay. It's not connected. Oh, this one is the, the arrow one is this one. So actually not related, right? Oh. Yeah? Oops. Actually, it's this one. Vector must be same length. Uh, which vector must be same length? Error calculating. Error calculating. Call back of block diagram. Go to stop. Uh, this one, your what? What is not connected? Huh? Oh, he stated that this one is not connected only. Right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Vector not same length. Uh. Oh, wait, uh. let me see. Wait, then, then, then. Vector not same length. Oh, I want to see your uh, random integer generator. What is your 1 over 1000 simple 1 unit 8 2. Okay. Then your BPSK, BPSK. You're comparing your these two only now. Okay, plus 1. Uh, your error rate calculation block. Zero, zero. Hmm, I guess. Correct, yes. Uh, BPSK is this one. What about your AWGN? Correct. Actually, the ASK, uh, uh, I also cannot connect to the other connect to the workspace. Even I think though you're using the wrong workspace block, right? There are many workspace blocks. You know, which one do you use? But I try for everyone. Because, every, because every, every, your, workspace, all... your workspace block look different from my workspace block. Like, somehow, uh... I, but I can't remember. Oh, I get my workspace block from my message. <laughs> okay, so I I using this one. Uh, PST next this one. Two workspace ah. Yeah, the PSP system two box. Um, let me see ah. The simulating two box or the DSP two box, USB two box. Miss, I also use that one, so I think it should be no problem for the workspace. You use which one? The, uh, the one, the one the Kasim just now point out. But yeah. my name is different from you. Or when I stick the variable, or there, there is a yeah, out block in front of the name, I don't know why. Correct, uh, something is wrong. I think you use a different block and see. Um, you and take also, the sim out block, uh, S-I-M-O-U-T from simulating out. I am. Uh, yeah, I take this one also. Yes, then the YUT are also same thing. Yeah. I think when you name it is different, uh, that that let me suspect something is wrong with your workspace block. Okay, take take the YUT out and see. You sure? Huh? Y-U-T, oh, to work first. Y-O-U-T. This one? Oh. Same also, 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 also have the R in front. 
Okay, uh, double click inside. Is it the format problem on this one? Should be okay. Ah, different um, with the uh, lab manner. Should, should be okay. Should be okay. Uh, okay, you change your bird, your name to B E R. This one. Uh huh. B E R, and then one, I N F change to one, array two D. Okay, and then lock your fixed point. Click lock your fixed point. Okay, minus one. Okay. So how come your name still like that? No. Try to use this block and see. Save first. You haven't saved lah. Oh, I saved already. I, I yeah. pressed it. Oh, yeah. But it looks like there is there is no error like, on your display block. Your display block should have some errors there. Vector not the same length happened only after some time. It's not the initial running. Hmm. Your error rate calculation block occur. One oh one seven BPS BPSK the, the both blocks you didn't change anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. A W G N channel. I see a W G N channel. B B and not. B B and not. Okay. One one. Okay. Correct. Oh, Correct. it's the version problem. <laughs> the two. Are you using the two thousand twenty one? Yeah, could be. Ah, uh, that's why I'm. I'm having problem with two thousand twenty version. <laughs> not only this one. There are a lot other things also different. Okay. Oh, I can't yeah. even. Space. You know, something is wrong. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe 2000, you might want to check uh, 2020, um, the same, this this version, uh, maybe the workspace now is, it shouldn't be, uh, but somehow it is, you know, like last time when we did our FM, my version and new version, old version, give different results. Eh? Because but using but if I'm using this, this, uh, Solution cannot if I directly connect to the wall space. Ah uh, yeah, okay. Direct connect to the wall space. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So no more display. You don't need but, display. But the result is also different. So one. Let's see. Uh, um, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. So it's already. Hmm. No. Okay. Directly yeah. go to work. That's that that straight away connect to the wall space. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good solution. Oh. Okay, so you see hang down, same thing, lah, your same version. Uh, miss, mm. uh, is this the point, uh, the point just, uh, uh, the point just on the theoretical line that is true, is correct already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, no matter the point, which point is, uh, uh, which the, what is the value for the point, correct? The exact value, uh, the exact value actually plus minus uh, uh, your simulation will be close to the theoretical point. Uh. Clear, close mean is either directly above the graph or directly below the graph, still okay, uh, but not mm -hmm. far, not too far. Uh. It's just very far. Uh not very I, I mean I mean my point is not different with the uh, let me you know. your point is different with that manner. What do you mean? Uh, yes. Can you share like, Show me, show me a point. Yeah. The, uh, my point is like this, and then the lemon is 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 correct, right? As long as it's on the uh, line. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Correct lah, because the lab manner, the y axis is from 0 to 18 and everyone is 2. Yours is 0 to, uh, no, yours is 0 all the way to 18 and everything is 2. But mine, if you look at the lab manual, the scale is 0, 5, 10, 15. Still the point is 2, 4, 6, 8, ma. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, so change your error calculation block signal output to workspace. Yes, that'll be okay. Your workspace, you call it bur, right? The workspace, you can change name one, right? Let me see, yeah. So. Yeah, when you change the workspace, make sure you change your name, uh, the variable name at the workspace, change it to birth. Okay, so there's another thing that I want to show you. So please pay attention. All right, so you might be asking why I know the delay is zero, the delay is one, because I make use of a fine delay block. All right, so in simulating, there is a block called fine delay. And then uh, the two inputs are the one that you transmit and the one you receive. So this fine delay block actually will work out uh, how many bits delay and then you display here. All right, I can tell it's zero because uh, this result is zero. And for ASK, when I tested, this is one. All right, so that's why I told you to actually put in your error calculation block here. Uh, what is the delay? Yeah, so you fill in this number based on this result over here. Okay, and then uh, another thing you need to show is uh, your Frequency spectrum. All right, so make sure you put in a spectrum analyzer to actually show the bandwidth. Okay, so what is my bandwidth? Um, so if you look at this uh, bandwidth plot here, the frequency spectrum. So you can see my bandwidth is from minus 500 to 500. Okay, again, this is a double side band. Uh. So the center frequency is always plotted at zero. So that gives us, uh, again, you can bring your you can slide your marker here. All right. So these two marker will actually tell you uh, the bandwidth for your signal. So in this case, uh, it's about one kilohertz. Okay, one kilo, one thousand. Yeah, one thousand hertz. Okay, one thousand hertz. Uh, that actually match our theoretical bandwidth, right? Yeah. Our bit rate is uh one k, one thousand kilobit per second. Okay, then our pulse rate, because one pulse is to uh, send one bit, so my pulse rate is also 1000, so that is uh, 1000 hertz, so therefore my bandwidth is also 1000 hertz. Alright, so uh, that's how you actually measure, you plot your spectrum and measure your bandwidth. Yeah? And then the next thing uh, I want to show you is this one. So that is for your BPSK and that's for your data, which is just binary, zero and one, okay? In assignment, I talk about your data is an eight bit data, all right? So when you have an eight bit data, so you're gonna make use of a random integer generator as well. That's why I suggest that you may want to use some other thing. Uh, you might want to use a random integer generator, uh, generator to actually give you the eight bit data, okay? to generate the 8-bit data. So how to generate 8-bit data? Then you have to change your set size here. All right, set size is zero all the way to M minus one. Yeah, so for 8-bit data, the M will be two to the power of N. All right, so that will be 256. So you need to change your set size to 256. 256, all right. So what this will do is this random integer generator block will generate 1000 data, 1000 data per second, and each data is 8 bit in size. 
okay and each data is 8 bit in size and now your bpsk your bpsk is only modulate 0 and 1 right but this one is just that, uh, giving you in the integer value only. It's not giving you binary data because you look at the output type is actually uh, unsigned integer. All right, unsigned 8 bit integer. So therefore, you need to first convert your integer to bit stream. Yeah, to convert your integer to bit stream, you need a integer to bit converter all right make use of an integer to bit converter okay bring it here and then you connect uh, all right convert your data from integer to binary stream so now your m uh, you are using 8 bit data, right? So, number of bit per integer, how many bits you have per integer? 8 bit, right? Your data is uh, 8 bit data, right? So, it's 8 bit per uh, integer. Um, this smearing uh, is very messy. One. Actually, this one they should call it n instead of m, right? So, in our context, this is n, yeah? So treat uh, input as unsigned, which is correct, because we actually use the unsigned 8 bit. So again, the rest no need to change. All right, then only you do your modulation. All right, you do your modulation. And then add the receiver. What you recover is still in bits. You need to convert to integer. All right, you need to convert to integer. Therefore, you need a block called the other way around, bit to integer converter. All right, bit to integer converter. And um, okay, so this block will convert your data back to 8 bit numbers. All right, 8 bit numbers. And uh, okay, to calculate bit error rate, basically you want to calculate bit error rate. So one of your input is actually the output from your BPSK, which is the bit stream. And then the input now, because it's bit error rate, you're comparing bits, right? Then this input need to take from here. Okay, which is the integer, the output of a bit to inte uh, integer to bit converter, because you're comparing bit with bit. Okay, we're going to compare bit with bit. And then here, you convert it back to integer. So this one, uh, what you have here at the output is actually your 8-bit data, right? So if you now, if you actually do another... Oh, sorry, this is bit, this is one. Oh, for error calculation block, again, you need to calculate bit error. So you connect back to here, all right, bit to bit. And now if you want to calculate the data error rate, data error rate, then uh, again, you need a, another a block, same one, which is the error calculation block. So this is the transmit. This is the, this is the receive one. Okay, and then the transmit one comes from where? Come from here. This is an integer. All right. So same thing, uh, you might want to display it. For those who cannot display, then you might want to uh, straight away to workspace. Huh? Okay. All right, so now this is not called the, this is called the data error rate. All right, so let's run and see. Cannot guarantee correct one. <laughs> uh, so no, wait. another thing I need to change, AWGN. 
All right, A W G N. I need to change something. All right, so if you recall just now, my data is 8 bit, right? And I generate an 8 bit data at uh, 1000 data per second. 1000 data per second. And then my BPSK is modulating the signal bit per bit. All right, so now my symbol, my symbol rate is now. Of one over eight thousand. You get what I'm talking about? Okay, my data rate. is at uh, 1000 data per second all right and then uh, each data is 8 bit yeah therefore my bit rate now is 8000 bits per second all right 8000 bits per second and then in bpsk one bit i use one pulse right okay so that gives me a pulse rate of of eight thousand pulses per second all right so this pulse is actually my symbol okay this pulse is actually my symbol so my symbol rate now is eight thousand symbols per second 8000 symbol per second so that means my symbol period is one over 8000 okay so you need to change here as well accordingly yeah okay then um next thing so what else you need to change Uh, okay, I'll get to you later from her. So that means uh, what else I need to change here, here, integer to bit, bit to integer. Then I calculate integer, compare integer with integer, that give me data every day. Okay. So now if I were to run my simulation and try to plot my curve, Okay. and now instead the variable name right instead of uh, if you plot your bell curve you should still be the same okay let's try the bell curve i want to plot this curve first yeah oh i have error export in export in port b for dimension eight times one matrix the modulator is eight times one matrix Oh yeah, I forgot to change set this one. Sorry. So again, uh, number of bits per integer is eight. Okay. So now you can see my bandwidth. My bandwidth is different already. Much wider. All right, so let's look at the bandwidth. I want to see my bell curve. Okay, you just plot a few points, see whether it's correct or not. If the points are correct, then uh, everything should be correct. Where is it plotting? Is it not plotting? Okay, why is it not plotting? Oh, we are plotting bell, so actually it's the same curve. Yeah, my bell is correct. So now I want to plot my dir later. Yeah, 
you can see uh, when you go to higher uh, EB over and not value, uh, it's going to take uh, longer before it can plot a curve because your error rate is getting lower and lower. All right, your error rate is getting lower and lower and your simulation will only stop when the number of error reach 100 or it has compared, in this case, I set to uh, uh, 10 to the power of 8 bits uh, for, for it to stop. Basically, it can stop maybe at 1, 1 E6 if you want to. Okay, so my last point seems to be a bit out. What happened? Uh? My last point shouldn't be out. This is a uh, eight bit data. Let me check. Confirm again. Two to the power of eight is two five six, right? So it's one over ten thousand, correct? Integer to bit converter. I have eight bit per integer. Okay, correct. So now. Eight thousand, so eight thousand correct. Number of bit per integer. Output data type. Okay, correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see my dir actually. If I don't even. Even if I don't plot, you can see the numbers here. The reason I actually ask you to put a display because you can actually compare the result. Okay, you can compare the result. Um, you see, uh, because our, you can see, because we, uh, for the entire run, all right, I have 1000 data per second. I run for 1000 seconds. Therefore, I have uh, 10 to the power of 6 data. Correct, right? And out of this 10 to power 6 data, I got 2 data is wrong. So this is my data error rate. Yeah. And if you calculate the bit, the bit, uh, we actually managed to compare 8, 000, 8 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay. Why is that? Because from every data got 8 bits. Now, right. So it's, uh, we compare uh, 8 times more. And then out of this 8, uh, 8 million bits that we compare, 2 bits are in error. Okay, so this is our error rate. Okay, this is how we interpret this data. And out of these two bits error here, actually these two bits happen at different symbol. Okay, on different data. They are not consecutive. So therefore, you actually end up with two, two data are wrong. Okay, so um, that is for BER and DER. For symbol error rate, then you have to treat differently. A symbol error rate is only applicable when you actually do a QPSK or APSK and so on, right? For BPSK, the BER and the SER are the same. All right, the BER and the SER are the same. So to calculate SER for other M levels, you need to add another set of this. All right, and you need to convert your bit to integer differently. And this one also you need to con become uh, you, need to, you need to convert differently. All right, you need to additional integer to bit converter block. Here also you need an additional bit to integer connector block, converter block. Okay, you need a set of this one as well in order to calculate your stir. Okay, you try that first. Um, let me see after the problem that your friend has. Leong Ho, problem with passing after change output to the space is unfixed. Um, you want to share your screen, Leong Ho? Leong Ho? No, not responding. Uh, miss, I log in with my data and log in again the midnight. Then I'll meet as well. Oh, okay. How you log in just now? <laughs> no, I log in using my phone. Oh.
Hey, you're not using you're not using your college email, eh? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, I change again. Plotted at different place compared to theoretical. If your you then it's wrong already, or just a simple BPSK, yeah, it has to follow the theoretical and Uh, I check your status. Hello, hello, hello. I'm also having this problem. Yeah. Oh, bro. Good space, ah. Uh. I can see the writing is a bit too small. You need to read. Vector. Vector different length. Uh, just now the same area with the classroom one. Classroom one vector different length because you got workspace problem, right? For yours is what? Vector different length in which one? Um, did you say which block? Which pot? Uh, okay. Uh, let's click on your error rate calculation block and see. Receive delay is zero, right? Computational delay zero, entire frame output to workspace, burst, stop simulation. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's okay. And then your, your burst, your workspace. Hey, you do have input lah. Where is your the other side of your error rate calculation block? The receiver no input. Hey, your error rate calculation block got supposed to have two input. You only got one input. Then your output, uh, okay, you send to workspace, okay. When you run from here, supposed to run from bird too. Yeah, you're supposed to run from here, then only you can plot. Have you saved her? Uh, I saved already. That's all. Okay. Saved already. Okay. So where's your pot? Where's your bird plot? Where's the bird figure? Open your bird figure. Hey, you should do a you should do a theoretical plot first, ma. Then only you know whether your point is uh, uh, at the right place, uh. Uh, then you run from here. It's not plotting, eh? Is the point plotted or not? I see no one uh, here, so. Uh, no, uh, then better stop. Something is wrong. 
so on your you send to workspace ah. Uh, uh, that is not plotted. Ah, uh, miss, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Uh, Leung Ho, your error rate calculation block, the output data type is block, uh, port, not. Not, uh, because yeah. this is connected to the worst way already, so the yeah. output yeah. is not connected. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. 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 Um, entire frame, error name, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one you don't have a choice of last one, isn't it? Frame. Okay, uh, correct, uh. Burr. It's called burr, so that is burr. Target area is 100. What else can be wrong? Because uh, if you are doing that, you are doing that, okay. here right no at least you should plot some points uh. but now it's not plotting at all not plotting meaning the data is not safe it's maybe it's slow only or no it should see it should because for every point uh, 2 db 0 db there should be a point already 2 db also there should be a point out already uh if you lag also not so lag uh. um, let me see now. What else can be wrong? I don't think. I don't know. Last time when I had this problem, uh, I restart my med lab. <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, so, because some, sometimes it could be, I don't know. Don't so know. the overall is no problem. Uh. The yeah, no more complaints, isn't it? Uh, See, it's actually coming out already. I also have this problem sometimes with the netlet because uh, it's not it's not plotting the points, but somehow when you restart, then it's, it's only it plot. I don't know. The one uh, the workspace, it could be because workspace meaning is going to save to your RAM. So maybe you're running out of RAM space or whatever, then it doesn't save. I have to not restart my netlet. I restart my PC. <laughs> Because they will clear some RAM space. Yeah, that's another thing that you must do uh, before when you are doing your assignment. Uh, before you do it, uh, please make sure you restart your PC. You restart your PC. Otherwise, it's going to be very lag. Also, uh, so it may not plot points when you need to plot. So far, no complaint. Uh, no complaint, you should be plotting. Uh. Here it is say that plotting until 10 dB. Is it? Well, uh, it's running 10 dB now, so that means the point at 2 dB, 4 dB, 6 dB, and 8 dB should be plotted on your curve already. But it's not, it's not plotted. It's not plotting. So for your error rate calculation block, because you there is nothing that say a uh, last one and all those things. Right? So if your version is same as Kaohsiung's version, uh, then uh, I don't see why yours is... is the reason for yours not plotting other than maybe your RAM space is, is not enough or whatever. Yeah, nothing, no point at all. Isn't it? Well, what's the error message? How come um, it's not connected? This one okay. No error, right? Just the block you're not used, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe try that and see. 
Okay, if cannot, then you join the Friday lab. Then we try to work out. Uh. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So who else? Uh? Yen Chang. Uh? Yen Chang, you want to share your screen? Where is Yen Chang? Left with you. Oh, here. <laughs> oh my god, up and down. That's interesting. Let's look at your system block by block. Look at your random integer generator. Two set size is two. Okay, one over one thousand. Okay. A W G N one over one thousand. Okay, your E B over N not. You need to change to E B and not lah. Yeah, you change not one. E B and not. You need to follow. What does it say? Yeah, correct. This is one. E B and O. Mm. Why are why is there a red one? Uh? What does it say? Uh? Missing label in few. Really? Okay. Close, close. Why is it not accepting EB and not? No, 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 you don't put ten. You should have to you need to put E B and not. Because only you follow the EB and not when you run at the bird two. Uh, don't care. Just 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 save and see. Just say okay and go on. See whether you can accept or not. Okay, and then for your this one receive delay in zero zero okay, port. Okay. And then your workspace. But one one array two D yeah okay save and try to run from have you saved yeah and then try to run from here and see mm. It's not right. No, it's not right. It's not right. Because it's not accepting. Uh, somehow, why is it not accepting? I, I also don't know. You should, you should accept EV over and signal to noise ratio. 
有 A W G N channel。Signal to noise ratio EP and not okay, correct. For DB, we use EP and not now because we're going to use the same one from the go to Okay, because uh, when you run from bird two, bird two is going to send to your, it's going to send the value of EV over N not to your model diagram or to workspace. Then the workspace will actually use this variable and use the EV over N not value to calculate, to put in the uh, inject enough noise or power or change the power. So it's going to change the EV over N not and then, um, for the channel, then your your you actually calculate your error later at the output. Um, if you're not able to use EV over and not, what can you use? Um, what does the what does the red thing say? Yeah, uh? click the click the red thing again. What does it say? Create a new variable. You can create a new variable. Ma. Variable we want to take from. Uh, what 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 version of MATLAB are you using? Ah. In that case, I think you might have to uh, search search on how to pass how to pass the value of EV over and not from your bird two to your simulating model because from what I know that is a way that we have been doing. It looks like your your version is not expecting it. Ah, so you have something here. Model workspace. Expression. Um, okay. Name is easy over and not value. Value actually it depends. Simulating parameter. Simulating parameter. No, that is actually from Bird two. No, if you say simulating parameter, actually this parameter comes from bird two. It does not come from um oh, just simply anything, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, actually your, your range uh, is what zero to zero to twelve uh, or twenty. You check your bird two. No, oh, about two, about two. What do you say on your about two? Yeah, zero to twenty. Use the same range there for your uh, AWGN channel. No, 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 AWGN channel. Just now, the beyond water block there. Thought you're trying to set something here. Where's the one that you were setting us on? The parameter and all those things. Not okay, yeah. You accept, ah? Uh? 
Ah, okay. Run is here. Then you run is here. Mm -mm. No, it's not. It's not that different from what you had. Um, so go to your AWGN channel again. So what the one you created, go to inside, go in there. Uh, actually, uh, let me let me see what I have inside. Uh. Because I don't have to specify. Uh. So you have to specify. Oh, select base workspace. Base workspace. Because my by default is base workspace. Yeah. That is the default workspace. Um, no, no, no. Um, for your okay, EB over and not right. You click on the three dot there. Is you is straight away come out the model workspace ah. Uh? Um, um, I think you might have to create a new one. Don't don't use model workspace ah. Uh? Use base workspace because I just checked mine. Actually, mine by default is more base workspace. Uh, Chang, uh, I think the easiest thing is delete this AWGM block, get a new one. <laughs> yeah, and then EV over and not there. Uh, yeah, correct. And then you click, uh, yeah, the base. Yep. Uh, I think you did plan, you see. EB and not, uh, also EB and not. EB and not, I see. You can key in, right? Okay, let me see. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Let me check my yeah. um, EB and not workspace. Hey, I don't have to. Eh. I just leave it. Uh. Okay, my value is 12. By default, I just, I just give you my default value. Hey, cannot. Uh. Expression. Parameter. I don't know, maybe. Just try anything <laughs> because I'm not sure, so I never use that. Uh, number of table dimension. No, oh, this is getting complicated. It shouldn't be that complicated. When, uh, actually, actually, uh, the new version do not allow you not to do anything. Oh. Mine is an older version. So, let me see. Uh. My data property is value is 12. Data type is double. That's all.
Okay. Uh, what did it say? Basically, the value is EP over and not is zero two zero two four six eight twelve and fourteen, right? Um. Okay. Value put twelve there. Okay, data type auto, okay. Cannot be scalar or struct, specify in vector. Oh, okay. Then you specify zero, zero, double dot, two, double dot, uh, 14, right? You plot until 14, right? <laughs> Plant there twenty twenty lor so long. What did you say? You seven point one me? Huh? This is oh break point. No, no. The value I want you to specify is not break point. We don't have break point. It's the value up there. Uh -huh. Can we can we not use lookup table? No. I think local table is getting very complex. It shouldn't be so complicated. Mm. Okay, the rest of you, if you want to leave, you may leave. Uh, unless you have the same problem, then maybe we try to sort out here. Uh, miss, do we need to upload? Uh, if you manage to get it, you upload. I have created for you already, right? I think I think I did. Oh no, not yet. I have done. Okay. I was in the middle of creation just now. Okay, got. Okay, you just apply. Don't do anything, don't do anything. Just click apply and okay. What did you say? How come? How come you still look up table? We did not choose look up table, right? You just create a new block only, right? Huh? Okay, I don't do anything. Don't open it. Uh, what did you say? Because just now you no, because just now you just now you already choose two cup table. So forget about this AWGM block. Take a new block and say. This may look sometimes, huh? Mm. Don't don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just um uh, just uh, 
This one, this one you copy from previous or you take a new one? It's too smart, it is. It's too smart thinking that you want to cut table. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yellow. Um, if not, then later you join the Friday class and see. Sometimes very funny. Um, your AWGN, uh, there's only one, right? Are there more than one, one, A, one AWGN? Let me see. I think it's only one. Uh, I'm mistaken. Oh, there's only one. Okay, while well, uh, Yen Chang is restarting, uh, anyone else got other problems that we might be able to help? No problem. Eh, I haven't taken your attendance, oh. have I? Sorry, haven't missed. So you're not leaving because you're taking attendance. Remind me, uh, I forgot about it. Sorry. Uh. Um. Okay, Ling Dong. Ling Dong is here, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, Ming, I'm here. Ming, Ming. Oh, waiting for your attendant. I should two minutes now. Ma. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yes, Miss. Uh, Han Xiang. Yes, Miss. Wei Hong. I think Wei Hong is here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mei Lin, she left already, yeah, but she joined the Friday class, all right? Uh, Xue Wen. Chewen, I think he told me he joined the Friday class also. Okay. Yi Hang? Yes, me. Yeah, okay. Yan Chang is here. Xin Sen? Yes. Leong Ho is here. Yi Si is here. Ka Sing is here. Uh, Wen Liang? Yes, me. Yong Chi Ye. Okay, yeah, da. Da, da. Don't see it online, but he is not responding. Okay, if you're waiting for attendance, then you may leave <laughs> attendance taken. <laughs> uh, you have a problem that you want to share? Yes, he said. Uh, 3.1b, no need to upload. 3.1b. What is 3.1b? Yeah. The. How was it? Wait, uh, I, I do so many experiments. I can't remember which is which. Let me refer. 3.1b. 3. 3.1 is your ASK, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, your ASK. Uh, you can't really get your ASK as long as you get the first two. Then you should be okay. Yeah, only the first two can. Yeah, the third one you cannot get, right? Yeah. But um, for bur two, to use bur two, you cannot get. I think that's because the, uh, the error rate is quite high. So somehow the new MATLAB complain. Mine also complain. So, um, but the 3.2 you can get, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, then upload until what you have got. Okay. 3.2, yeah.
Okay. Uh, so, miss. Yes. Ah, Yong Chi, yeah. yeah. Where were you just now? Uh, just now, uh, people asking me how to do the lab. I'm showing them. Oh, oh, sorry, okay, sorry. Okay. You were showing them. So you have another Google Meet somewhere out there. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Just, <laughs> just a some voice call, voice call. Oh, okay, okay. So are you able to do or not? So it looks like you can do, huh? You can do uh, yeah. already. No. <laughs> try my best, try my best. <laughs> so you don't have problem as uh, what Yan Chang has? Um, I think no. Actually, oh. have uh, initially. Then I also do know what 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 I did, and su suddenly know the issue already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lab sudden, the name lab problem or something. I don't know. The, the one in the lab is more consistent. The performance. Yo, what version are you using here? Uh, same as Yan Chang one. Oh, is it? But you have the same problem, ah. The EB and not cannot. Actually, yeah. Then I just uh. What I did is when I changed the AWG, I don't know. When I changed the error rate calculation to the workspace, then uh, the issue solved already. But yours is like casting, la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Yan Chang, la. Yan Chang is a plot is wrong. The AWG oh, oh, oh. Channel, he cannot put in the EB and not. Oh yeah, mine also. I, mine also cannot put when I uh, when I put a uh, EB and O inside there, then got an mm. error. Then uh. when I change my error rate calculation from the plot to workspace, then the error uh. gone. Oh, is just it? Like, yeah, yeah, just like that. Well, that is that is very strange. <laughs> Two different blocks. Yeah. Then uh, just now I teaching another group. They also uh other group like they they did already. Then they asked me. They also having the issue. Then I asked them change to workspace. Then the issue also gone. Other group, you're the first group doing it, or? Yeah, I mean the other group they did, uh, they do wow. first. Oh, they, they start doing this it. Friday, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This Friday, yeah, one. So Yan Chang, you may want to try that <laughs> because I find that very weird, uh, Okay, okay. Because I I didn't see the problem, so I really don't know how to solve. Unless I then on the spot, oh. yeah. It looks like you cannot just uh fix an error by the error itself. Huh? sometimes it's like that. Huh? So you need to look at the overall. Oh. Okay. Any other thing? Any other problem that you want to share? Okay, I can may not be able to help, but your friend might be able to help. <laughs> Okay, this loading way is here. Oh, he didn't log out. Yeah. Uh, let's look at your model diagram. You remove the two workspace already, right? Uh, 
Your, your variable name, you haven't changed to B. Ah. Variable name, yeah, yeah. Variable name, change to B. Ah. Still come out red, huh? Um, but then mine just leave it, come out red and just come out red, huh? Just change B, uh. Your file, file, your file, you need to browse it. Hello? Browse, you need to open your file. This is not your file. The one is plotting is not your file. Ah, maybe that's the reason, ah. Uh. <laughs> Plot your, plot your, this one, you have your answer, okay. Hey, hey, hey no, your file, your file is wrong. Your MATLAB file is wrong. <laughs> no, still the same. No, starting. They do DB. Hey. What's that? Because you are you are using stop, stop, and stop. It's blocking the wrong curve. Eh? Stop at your bird too. Ah. Uh. What is your AWGN again? Yeah, you use one. Which is... No, the EB and not, you use one. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, apply, apply. No, just go down and say okay. Uh. Have you saved? Save it, yeah. You don't have to start new session, ma. Next time, don't start new session. Just use back the old session. Then you don't have to load the file all the time. Uh, you just uh unselect the simulation now, so you won't plot on your graph. That's all. Just untick it. That's all. Then you can. Ah, uh, funny, oh. I also don't understand. The matter is very complicated. We just do what we need to do. <laughs> okay, good. Good to hear that. Thank you, Chi Ye also. <laughs> All right, so. Hello, where are you still online? <laughs> Hello? You all need help or what? If you need help, then we try to help. If not, then you can go off now. Uh, Miss, do we need to do the 8-bit uh, thing? Uh, yeah, you have to because your assignment is 8-bit. So you need to try to do 8-bit. I was just teaching you how to do this. So. Oh, so yes. We, so we don't need to stuff. upload? Uh, no, no need. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but that is a clue for how to do your assignment. Uh. Oh, okay. Thanks, mm. Miss. Okay. Okay, if not, then we end the class here, yeah? What a tiring day. Bye-bye. Okay, if I don't say bye-bye, you all don't, need, don't dare to leave. Uh. All right, thank you, miss. Okay, thank you, miss. Thank you. If you cannot get, then then I, at least we stay, then I help. Uh. If you can get, then no need to stay. Uh. Okay.